Welcome to Joey Stick. In this video, you will learn how to implement linked list in Python. I'm going to code this program of linked list in Python step by step and explain to you each step of this linked list program in detail. And thus, I recommend you watch this video till the end because it's going to be very helpful for you. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, then hit the subscribe button right now as well as the bell icon as that way you will get notified whenever I release new videos like this in the future. Alright, before we begin coding the program, let's know a little bit about linked list. A linked list is a data structure, a linear data structure in which unlike arrays, the elements are not stored at contiguous memory locations. You can see an array over here. The elements are stored at contiguous memory locations, but beneath it is a linked list in which the elements are linked using pointers. They are not stored at contiguous memory locations. They are spread across the memory. Now, I would like to say that these elements of a linked list are called nodes of which there are two parts. Number one, data, and number two, pointer to the next node. So each node of the linked list holds the data as well as the pointer to the next node. And this is how a linked list is built. You should also know that the first node of the linked list is called head. That was the theory that you should know in order to understand the program of linked list that you'll learn in this video. Now I'll move to PyCharm ID and I recommend you start it as well because it would be better if you coded the program with me. You would be able to absorb it better. So let's switch to PyCharm now. So this is my PyCharm ID where I'll begin coding the program. If you don't have it in your system, then you can watch the video which I made on how to install PyCharm by clicking on the I button. Now let's talk about what you are going to learn in this program. So I'll create a linked list which will be empty initially and then I'll create four nodes with data and pointers to their next node. And finally in this program, I'll show you how to traverse the linked list. That means I'm going to print the entire linked list. You will get to see the data of all the nodes. It's a basic linked list program, but if you are starting fresh or if you want to revise linked list, then this video is for you. Coding linked list in Python is a game of creating two classes. Number one, the node class and number two, the main linked list class. Why we create a node class is because we need a couple of fields that we need to initialize every time we create a node in the linked list. In C language, we can make use of structures, but in programming languages like Python or Java, it can be accomplished by creating separate classes. So let's first create the node class. So I'm going to create a new file here which I'll call node.py. All right, I have my file created. And now I'm going to write my syntax. So it will be class node colon. I'm going to write the init method. All right, and now I'm going to write self.data equals to data. Let me mention the data parameter over here. And then it will be self dot next underscore node equal to none. All right, let's understand this syntax a bit. So like I said earlier, a node has two parts. Number one is data and number two is the pointer to the next node in the linked list, which is what we are initializing in the init method of this node class. I have assigned none to this field next underscore node in the init method because I'll do the assignment after I have created all the nodes. So it doesn't make sense to initialize the pointer to the next node during the node creation. Now is the time to create a new class linked list for which I'll create a new file. So let me create that file. I'll name it as linked underscore list dot py. 
All right. Here is the file created and now I'll write the syntax. So it will be class. I'll name this class as linked list colon. Now I'll write the init method within which I'm going to simply write self dot hit equals to none. All right. So this head over here represents the first node of the linked list note that I am initializing it to none because when I am initializing the linked list for the first time, when I'm creating the linked list for the first time, it is meant to be empty. And that's why it has been initialized to none as of now. Now it's time to create the main method in which we'll first initialize the linked list. So I'm going to simply type main and uh, there you go, PyCharm has created the main method for me. Now let me initialize the linked list. So I'm going to name the object as LL followed by N equals to sign. And then I'm going to simply write linked list and brackets. That's it. So this line of code has initialized to my linked list. Now we'll create the head node and I'm choosing 100 as the data I'm going to store in the data portion of the head node. So I'll write ll dot head equals to node 100. So this line of code is actually going to initialize head to none. That's what I told you. When I'm creating the linked list, head is empty and that's why head has been initialized to none. In this line over here, I am initializing node to the object of the node class. This is the first time. This is the first item of the linked list that is getting created over here with the data being assigned to it as 100. Now to initialize my linked lists head to node class, I'll have to import node class in this file. How I'm going to do that? I am going to write import, I'm sorry, from node import node. So basically this node is the file, is the name of the file that I created. And you can see the class name is also node. So that is what I have written after the import keyword. This node represents my class and this is the name of the file. So after this line of code, the linked list will become something like this. Now we'll create nodes second, third and fourth separately. So it will be second followed by n equals to sign node. Let's give it 105. Okay. This is the data that we are assigning to the second node. And now let me create the third node of the linked list. So it will be third followed by n equals to sign. And I'm going to mention 110. Let me create another node. So it will be fourth. And I'm going to initialize it as the object of the node class. And I'm going to pass 115 as the data of this fourth node. Note that the nodes are not linked yet and they have been created separately. Now it's time to link them. So I will write ll dot head dot next underscore node equal to second. So the next underscore node field, this field we defined over here and we initially set it to none. Why? Because we were not defining the pointer to the next node at the time of the node creation. While data is being initialized at the time of the node creation, we passed 100 at the time of the node creation. And this data field was initialized to 100 at the time of node creation. But we are explicitly assigning value to next underscore node field over here in this line of code. Now my head node will be pointing to the second node which I created over here. So after this line of code, the linked list will become something like this. 
let's finish the rest of the code of linking the nodes now so i'm passing 100 which is supposed to be the data held by this node at the time of node creation and uh, this 100 is getting assigned to this data field at the time of node creation but next underscore node field is not getting initialized at the time of node creation i am explicitly doing it right now in this line of code because at the time of node creation we don't know what the next node is going to be so i'm explicitly doing it over here so my head node is going to be pointing to the second node. Now let's finish the rest of the code of linking the nodes now. So I'm going to write second dot next underscore node followed by n equals to sign and I'll write third. Then I'm going to write third dot next underscore node followed by an equals to sign and I'm going to write fourth. After this line of code, the linked list inside the memory will appear something like this and it is complete now with four nodes. The pointer in the last node is null because there are no further nodes in the linked list. To traverse the linked list, I'm going to create a function traverse and print in the linked list class. So it will be def traverse and print all right pycharm has generated the self keyword for me and inside this traverse and print function i am going to create a temp node so it will be temp underscore no and i am going to assign it the head node of the linked list so i am going to do it using the syntax self dot head now I'm going to start a while loop within whose bracket I'm going to write temp underscore node. I'll give a colon and after that I'm going to simply print the data of the temp node. So I'll write temp node dot data and then I'm going to assign to this temp node the next node of the node held by this temp node variable so i'm going to write temp underscore node dot next underscore node so the while loop is going to run till the time the temp node is a valid node after we display the data of the node in this line of code we update the temp node as the next node of the current node held by the temp node variable. Now, the only step is to call the traverse and print function from the main function. So I'm going to write ll dot and I'm going to call the traverse and print function. Now let's run the program and check the output. The expected output is the display of the data part of all the nodes of the linked list, all the four nodes. So let me click on this play button and run the program. There you go. The program is displaying 100, 105, 110, 115, which represent the data portions of all the four nodes, one after another, like they have been linked in this linked list over here. And thus I can say that our linked list program in Python is running successfully. This concludes this video. I hope you enjoyed learning how to create linked list in Python. Do let me know in the comment section if you have any doubts. I look forward to helping you with programming and algorithms. And only for this video, goodbye and take very good care of yourself.